Hey guys, it's me, Strike Rage, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you guys a tutorial on how to record YouTube with OBS. So in the past, I did a tutorial on how to live stream on YouTube with OBS. So if you want to check that video out, I will leave it in the description. If you want to know how to live stream on YouTube, that was a while ago and I was speaking really quiet in that video. I don't really know, so... Yeah, but I did get a lot of good feedback from you guys on that video. I got a lot of nice responses in the comments, and that video did get a lot of views. So I really want to thank you guys for that so much. So I figured why not do a video on how to make actual videos with YouTube. And it's basically the same thing, but it's a little bit different. Um, right now, this is OBS Live. This is a different version of OBS. I'm going to be showing you how to use... Um, this one right here, which is, um, yeah, it's OBS, but this one's just OBS Live. It's the newer version, but I don't think it's as good as the first one, and I still haven't learned how to completely use it yet, so this one's just to record the video. Um, but anyways, this is the one I use for making my videos, and as you can see, I have a bunch of uh, scenes here for like Sims 3, Sims 4, all that. Um, so quickly, I want to give you guys a little bit um, of my opinion on the screen recorders out there and my experience with some of them. I know some people use different ones. Not everyone uses OBS. I know some people use Fraps, and that's what I used to use in the past. And honestly, in my opinion, I think OBS is better than all the screen recorders I have used because of the many options it comes with and you can do a lot with OBS that I've seen that other, like, screen recorders can't. For instance, Fraps was $40, and it crashed on me a year later, and it wasn't even that good. And I know some people like it. I'm not, like, hating on you if you have Fraps or something. Um, I've also tried Action, DX Tori. I honestly don't think those are as great as OBS, and plus, OBS is free, so if you don't have money... I think it's great for beginner YouTubers or even if you've been doing YouTube for like the longest time ever. So, um, I'm going to be leaving, oh, whoops, what am I doing? Okay, I'm going to be leaving, uh, the link to where you can download it. All you have to do is, um, there's this one, the OBS Studio and the OBS Classic. And this one's fairly new, it came out August 8th, so that was this month, really? I didn't know that was that early. Okay, well, it came out August 8th. It's fairly new. This one's a little bit older. I like this one more, but you can get both. Um, so just get click the download there, and it will take you to the download. I'll leave the link in the description, because I know some people are going to, like, look it up and be like, I can't find it. Don't worry. I got you. It's down there. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to show you guys now how I record my videos and what settings I use. Okay, so... I don't really know what it first looks like when you first get it. I know you install it, all that stuff, and I think this will all be blank. Like, you won't have any of this. You have to add this yourself. So, to add, like, these little things, you're going to go to Add Scene, and you just basically enter the name of the scene. So, for instance, Sims, Sims 4, but I already have it, so I'm not going to add it. And that's what it will add here. So, then, it will be blank over here when you click on it. You'll click on it, and then you'll right-click, click Add, and then you'll add a um, game capture. Yeah, right there. And I guess this one's game capture too because I already have one. But you will you will hit OK. And then you will select Sims 4, which I actually need to open. Okay, guys. So I, I put on Sims 4. So now when you double click um, game capture, Sims 4 will appear or whatever game you have. This can apply to Minecraft, uh, whatever game, honestly, it doesn't matter. Uh, so you'll just click the game, and if any of you have problems with the game coming up black when you start recording, just go back into this and hit refresh. That usually fixes the problem, and then click OK. And if you want to um, copy any of these, this um, thing called Gamma, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, that just turns up the brightness of the game if you're having trouble with brightness. You can always just use this. I always turn it up a little bit to make things a little happier and brighter, but it's not necessary. And then click OK. So now, um, before you can like start recording or anything, you have to go into your settings and set up your microphone and all that. 
make sure you have the right settings on so general should look like this um yeah just copy whatever settings i have <laughs> that should be good and then for your encoding this is very important for your video quality i just have it amped up um the quality I have the max bit rate, I have 4,000, you could probably go more, that depends on the type of computer you have, the bigger the number, the more it'll be harder on your computer, so if you have like a really crappy computer, I'd recommend like 2,000 or something, but if you know you have a good gaming computer, I think 4,000 is probably a good number to use. Broadcast settings, you want to make sure it's put to file output only, and then you will select where you want the video to be saved when you're done recording. I have it saved to my download, so you can just hit browse and pick the destination for that. Um, yes, okay. And then for video, this is the best um, quality, I guess. You could always turn up the FPS. I think that's the most it can do. Can you do 70? Oh, crap. I did something. <laughs> Let's go back to that uh, video. Yeah, let's do 60. I like 60. Okay. And then audio, you obviously want your microphone on, so leave this to a desktop audio device. Put it to your speakers. And then your microphone, I use my um, Yeti microphone. And um, yeah, that's basically good. So make sure you hit apply after that. Hotkeys, I just left that alone. I didn't do anything. Advanced, I don't know if I did anything to this, but if you're having complications, just make sure you have the same settings as I do. Um, all of this, I never really messed with any of that. Okay, um, so hit OK when you are done. So then um, the microphone is now red, and then also this, you can change how loud you want your game volume to be. You can also like adjust it in the game. But this also helps, like, say if your Sims is super loud, you can always just turn it down and you'll have your voice louder than the game. I like this setting here. And then when you are ready, you can just hit start recording. So, um, yeah, Sims open. So I will hit start recording. And then you can see my Sims game. And I know you can, like, um, how it's like this. It's purposely like that for my little machinima I'm making. So to do that, you just hit edit scene and then you can just um, hold alt and drag it out. But I have it like that. So you can bring it back to normal. You can also move the screen around, which is really cool. Um, I don't really want to mess this up. So we're going to hit stop recording. And then when you're done, just come back to this and hit stop recording. So yeah, that's basically it. You can always add like little pictures if you want. So you can add like images. Um, let's see what we can do. I don't know. Why would you want to add an image? I don't know. But say for some reason you want to add a GIF, an ice cream GIF to your thing. I don't know why you would want to. But you'll hit OK and uh, preview the stream so you can see what it looks like. And then you can hit edit scene. You can move it around and that will stay on your little video. Which is really weird. Uh, this is the preview. This isn't recording yet. Um, so make sure you double check your recording. Because I've done this multiple times. I hit preview and I thought I hit recording. And I never ended up recording the video. So preview is just so you can like put things on and see how it looks. Make sure it's all good in the hood. And all that jazz. So yeah, and just click on the different layers to move them around it's really cool i really like obs uh just because of this reason it's really cool how you can like little add little things and then you can just add more scenes and all that like i have like i youtube stream and i know it's red because i have nothing on it right now um so yeah you guys that's basically how you um record videos with obs and like i said i really recommend the software and if you guys want to try it out, definitely do so. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a big fat thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you are new. And yeah, I love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys.